A recent article by the Association of American Physicians and Surgeons suggests that Barack Obama is deliberately using techniques of neurolinguistic programming, or NLP, a covert form of hypnosis developed by Dr. Milton Erickson. For example, one fundamental tool of conversational hypnosis, as it is called, is pacing and leading, a way for the hypnotist to bypass the listener's critical faculty by associating repeated statements that are unquestionably accurate with messages that he wants to convey. In his Denver acceptance speech, Obama repeatedly used the phrases, that's why I stand here tonight, or now is the time, and this moment, repeated 14 times, paces are connected to the lead words such as and, as, because, or that is why. For example, we need change, a statement which is so abstract that one cannot disagree with it, and that is why I will be your next president. Some other very obvious techniques of transinduction used by Barack Obama include extra slow speech, repeated abstract metaphors, vagueness, chains of imagery, and the raising of emotional tension. Frequently, hypnotists will have their subjects count backwards as part of hypnosis induction. Obama uses the same technique in his speeches. He often uses repeating patterns of numbers which are abstract and seem to have little connection to the content of the speech. This is a distraction technique of hypnosis assigning a meaningless task to the rational mind to distract it, thus leaving the subject unguarded by the rational mind and open to the hypnotist's suggestion. Obama said in one speech, quote, A light will shine down from somewhere. It will shine upon you. You will experience an epiphany, and you will say to yourself, quote, I have to vote for Barack. End quote. Note that he is not presenting people with a choice. You will have to vote for Barack. It is not a logical choice, but rather one directed by some mystical subconscious force. Why would a politician make such a statement? 